So what do you say, Kratos? You had your moment in Mortal Kombat 9, so stay out of Mortal Kombat 1 and give a new guest character a chance. No. More guest characters are on their way to Mortal Kombat 1, but which characters are going to be added? A little while ago, I reported that Mortal Kombat 1 has tons of DLC characters on the way, and there's no doubt that several of them are going to be guest characters. So today, let's talk about which characters would be perfect for Mortal Kombat 1, and also which characters are unlikely to happen despite the fans wanting them. And keep in mind, I'm not going to cover characters that are already rumored to be DLC like Ghostface. Make sure to comment down below which characters you want the most for Mortal Kombat 1, and without any further ado, let's begin with a very obvious choice, Kratos from the recent God of War games. Whenever I bring this character up, it's a bit divisive in the comments section, and that's mainly because Kratos was already a guest character in Mortal Kombat 9. However, in response to that, I have two statements that I want to make clear. Number one, Kratos was only on the PlayStation 3, so for everybody else that had an Xbox 360, they never got to play Kratos. But then on top of that, Kratos in the new games is a complete completely different character, both personality and gameplay wise. He has the Leviathan Axe that has cool ice powers, he has the spear that can clone itself and detonate from a distance, he can turn Mimir's head into a giant death ray, and let's be honest, Atreus would make the perfect cameo partner. For all these reasons, I think Kratos would be a great addition to Mortal Kombat 1. Yes, he's been in Mortal Kombat 9, but back then he was a completely different character with a different arsenal of weapons. But then on top of that, keep in mind that guess characters are going to be sliced and diced and ripped apart in a Mortal Kombat game. And that's nothing new for Kratos, especially in the old games. He could die in some very gruesome ways, and as a result, he's the perfect DLC character. But next up, it's time for character number two, a personal favorite of mine that I've wanted in a Mortal Kombat game for decades now, your girl Rain from the Blood Rain series. Just like Kratos, Rain would fit perfectly in Mortal Kombat 1, because she's violent, she's a vampire, and while she does use guns, she also has some really cool melee weapons as well, and that's a big deal for me because I don't want too many guns in my Mortal Kombat game. The developers went way overboard in Mortal Kombat 11, over 10 different characters had guns, let's not do that this time around. I think it's okay for a character to have one or two gun attacks, but that's it. So once again, Rain is perfect because she has so many melee weapons too. And I know what some of you might be saying right now, Mortal Kombat 1 already has a vampire lady, and her name is Natara, but listen, okay, Rain is is really cool in her own right, and also, Megan Fox did kind of damage Natara as a character. I think it's okay to have more vampire representation in Mortal Kombat 1. And also keep in mind, the series has never had a lady guest character, which is not that big of a deal, I suppose, but I just kind of feel like Rain would be the perfect fit. And then, perhaps most important of all, just like Melina, she's been featured in a Playboy magazine. Yeah, back in the day, things were wild. Video game characters were in Playboy, and it was kind of an some time to be alive, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, being featured in an adult magazine is not a serious reason to include a DLC character, but at the same time, I like giving y'all random video game trivia. So next up, let's talk about character number three, and this guy might be the most fan-requested guest character for a Mortal Kombat game in the past five years or so, and his name is Pennywise. That's right, the murderous, shape-shifting clown, who's not actually a clown and can actually take whatever form he wants to, and is technically just a creepy spider thing, or also technically technically just a beam of light. Keep in mind that book was half written by cocaine, and it definitely shows. My point is Pennywise can shapeshift into any manner of monsters, he's a very violent villain, he's murderous, a borderline serial killer on a mass scale. You could actually make the argument that Pennywise is a weapon of mass destruction, that's how many lives he's claimed. Or in other words, he's a perfect fit for Mortal Kombat 1, and I think technology has advanced enough that they can actually pull off his gameplay in a video game. Back during Mortal Kombat 11, I don't think they could have pulled it off, and certainly not in Mortal Kombat X, but now in Mortal Kombat 1 with the PlayStation 5 and the PC power, I really do think that Pennywise could be fully realized. Not sure about the Switch though. The Switch would have a tough time handling that character. Yeah, in summary, I think Pennywise would be a really cool addition to Mortal Kombat 1, but now it's time for character number 4, somebody that was meant to be in Mortal Kombat 11, and there's leaked images to prove this, and also leaked emails to prove this, but unfortunately there was some licensing issues and complex video games 
game nonsense like that, and so this character did not get to be in the game, of course I'm talking about Ash Williams. Getting this character in Mortal Kombat 1 would be amazing, and also fulfill that desire that so many fans were denied in Mortal Kombat 11. NetherRealm already has experience making a chainsaw wielding character because of Leatherface in Mortal Kombat X, so I have no doubt they could nail the character design with Ash Williams, and even though he does use a gun, it's a shotgun, so you could easily limit the range on it, maybe it doesn't go full screen, and that would make it fair and balanced. Again, I don't want too many guns in Mortal Kombat 1, but I think for Ash Williams, we could all make an exception. As mentioned earlier, so many people wanted this character to return in Mortal Kombat 11, even when a lot of the licensing issues became public, people still had their fingers crossed and their hopes were so high, but unfortunately, he could not make it in, so I think Ash Williams should return in Mortal Kombat 1, that would be a dream come true. And you know what, for character number 5, since Mortal Kombat 1 already has two different superheroes in it, why not Deadpool? Because after all, this man did kill the entire Marvel Universe, in fact, I think he's done it more than once. So this guy is not above murder, and when he does kill people, he does so in fabulous fashion, really over the top, slicing everybody up, intestines, guts, bones everywhere, he's got guns and grenades, and other military weapons of that nature because he is a mercenary. In fact, his nickname is the Merc with the Mouth. So hopefully Netherrealm could find a way to minimize those things, but then we have the best part about Deadpool, which is that he gets sliced up all the time in his own comic books and video games, and as a result, he'd be a perfect fit for the fatalities. And if by some miracle Deadpool did make it into Mortal Kombat 1, it would be incredible if he was still talking after getting fatality, because he can't actually die, he always heals. So just imagine how cool that would be to see in the game, right? You do a fatality on Deadpool, his head's there off screen, but he just keeps talking because he's not dead. I think that would be incredible. Now is it likely to happen? Probably not, because I don't think that Marvel's gonna want to work with Mortal Kombat, but if they did, Deadpool is the absolute perfect character. And you know what, since we're already talking about comic book characters, why not mention Harley Quinn? Because this character actually got leaked, but the reality is that leak did not have much credibility behind it, and as a result, I don't think it's likely that Harley Quinn could be in the game. However, at the same time, don't forget that Joker made it into Mortal Kombat 11, and that's because NetherRealm Studios has worked on the Injustice series, and therefore is given the green light to add comic book characters from DC to their other video games. And in the Injustice games, Harley Quinn was one of my favorite characters to play. Tone down the guns if she comes back in Mortal Kombat 1, but I do think she could be a really interesting fit. She's sadistic, she's violent, all those amazing things. My only issue is, I could not find any examples of her dying in the comics or any other various media. Or in other words, I'm not sure if DC would be okay with her getting fatalitied, sliced up, blown up, you get the idea. I'm not sure if she would make it in for that reason alone. DC is likely not on board with Harley Quinn getting murdered over and over again in Mortal Kombat. But next up, let's talk about some characters who I don't think will make it into Mortal Kombat 1, even though fans would like it a lot. First up, we have Doom Slayer. This guy is so cool, he's extremely violent, way over the top, and in his own games, he does get brutally murdered if you get the game over. So in that regard, he fits Mortal Kombat 1 pretty well. However, the issue is, this guy is mostly guns and other ranged attacks of that nature, and Mortal Kombat fans have made it pretty clear that they don't want Deadshot to come back. Or fully automatic Jackie, you get the idea. Gun characters have their place in some fighting games if balanced correctly, but Netherrealm has shown that they don't really know how to strike that balance when it comes to a mostly gun-based character. And then on top of that, I just realized that Doom Slayer doesn't talk very much at all in the games, and as a result, his intro dialogues would all be silent. Which has been done before with Jason, and Predator and Alien in Mortal Kombat X, so it could be done again. But I'm just saying, that's one more reason that maybe Netherrealm would not want to include him in Mortal Kombat 1. Next up, let's talk about Chucky, because back when I made Mortal Kombat 11 videos, every time I uploaded, somebody said they want Chucky to be a playable character. This will never happen because his hurt box is just too tiny. So many attacks would fly right over this guy's head, and he would have a very unfair advantage against pretty much everybody on the roster, very similar 
similar to Yoda in Soul Calibur 4, who was also banned in competitive tournaments. So yeah, I don't think Chucky has a good chance of being in a Mortal Kombat fighting game, and also, I personally don't want him to be there at all. If you think Peacemaker is tough to fight, just imagine an opponent that you can't hit because they're so short. Next up, let's talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer, because Ed Boon has made it clear that he's tried to get this character in the game before. And since I grew up with two older sisters, I was forced to watch this show all the time. It's a decent show overall. In fact, some episodes are really good, some of the best in TV history. But then in between those episodes, you had a bunch of nonsense that was too goofy, over the top, or just didn't make much sense and was too outlandish. Anyway, I digress. From a gameplay standpoint, I'm just not sure what interesting things Buffy could bring to the table. Yes, she does have super strength and speed because she's a vampire hunter and they're genetically different. But outside of that, when it comes to weapons, I don't think there's that many unique things to Buffy. She has a stake every now and then. I can't exactly remember. I was very young when my sisters watched this show, but I just think from a gameplay standpoint, she wouldn't do that many interesting things. Now that being said, I'm happy to be wrong. If Buffy was added to the game and had amazing animations and really cool attacks and gameplay, I would be super ecstatic. I'd be happy. At the end of the day, it's very ironic how many guest characters are in the Mortal Kombat games when you consider how many characters could never be added due to the game's sheer gruesomeness and fatalities, all that stuff. So to end this video, please let me know in the comments section which guest character you want added most to Mortal Kombat 11 and why you think they'd be a great fit. As you all know, I love making these videos interactive and I really do read each and every comment, so grab that keyboard and make your voices heard. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below, it helps the channel out a ton, and then finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time and as always, stay underdogs.